Hi, I'm Mary Melfi and I'm your County Clerk and I'm here on the first of several informative videos and today we're going to talk about your vote by mail ballot which you're receiving because of Executive Order 177 and the, the legislation that was signed by Governor Murphy which made the general election of 2020 a virtually all paper ballot election. So today we want to make sure that when you get your ballot that your ballot is counted and processed and received. So this is what your ballot is going to look like. It's going to come in the mail. All the ballots will be in the mail by October 5th. So take a look uh, in your mailbox and this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to open your ballot and what you're going to have is you're going to have a return envelope that's addressed to the Hunter County Board of Elections which has prepaid first class postage on it. You can put that aside. You have a certificate envelope. You can put that aside. And of course you have your ballot. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your ballot and you want to, you want to confirm that the ballot you received is for the municipality that you're from. So you take a look and you, you say, yep, I'm from Flemington Borough, I have a Flemington Borough ballot. And then you can proceed to go through and you can vote your ballot. So you, know, you have your, your federal contest, your local contest, your, you have your school, in some cases you might have a fire, uh, Franklin Township and, and uh, uh, Lamberville have fire commissioners. And then on the back, of course, you have your state questions. So you're gonna go through, take your time, read your ballot, vote your ballot. And when you're done completing voting your ballot, you're gonna take your voted ballot, no signature, no nothing, just take your circled ballot and you're going to place it in inside your certificate envelope, which you're going to turn around and you're going to seal it up. You're going to make sure this envelope is sealed up. And then you're going to place your name and your address. And for those of you that come from, uh, one of the, the interesting questions we get a lot is, uh, it says municipality or town, if you're from Flemington, but you're from Raritan Township, or you're from White House Station and you're from Reddington, it doesn't matter. You can put either. And then the, the important thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna sign it. So the two very important things that the Board of Elections is, uh, boards of, uh, board of Elections is going to be looking for when they receive this is that A, it's sealed, and that's to be sure that nobody has tampered with your ballot, and two, that you've signed it. So this is what they use to verify that it's you. And the next video that you will see is you're going to see what happens because you'll get to see how my, my ballot was actually processed over at the Board of Elections. So this is your whole completed packet and you have your envelope here that's addressed to the Board of Elections. You're going to put your packet inside here. And if you have a problem and you messed up, because you'd be surprised, it says do not detach on here about a hundred times, but people detach. If you do that, don't feel bad. Just give us a call. We'll give you a new, you know, we'll give you a new certificate. It's no big deal. We've got hundreds of them here. So just give us a call rather than, you know, we'll get you a new certificate. So you put it in here, nice and easy, take it off. Okay, now, I want to get this ballot back securely and I want to make sure that it's going to get counted. So I have four options of getting this ballot back. Number one option is I can take it directly to the Board of Elections that is located in the historic courthouse on the third floor. When you go there, you're going to need to bring a photo ID with you that's the law. You'll go up to the third floor with the elevator, take your ID, you'll sign a book, you'll give it to, to one of the staff, they clock it in, and that'll be that. The second option you have is there are 12 drop boxes, secure drop boxes located throughout the county. One will be in front of the Hall of Records at my office. If you want to find the drop boxes, they are going to be listed on 100 and Boat 2020, as well as on the Facebook site. Uh, Hunter County Clerk. So if you want to find those 12 drop boxes, 
and you can find those sites easily by going to the web page or the Facebook page. Third option, you can take it to the post office. It has first class postage on it. The post office has advised us to advise voters to allow seven days. So that's another option. Now, what's new this year is you can actually walk your ballot into the polling place and you can hand deliver it, which is a much better option than provisional voting. So what you want to do is you, if you, if you enjoy the, the polling place experience, take your ballot, go into the polling place, you'll sign the poll book, and you'll, you'll put your ballot into a ballot box at the polling place. And uh, when you go to the polling place, you can only take your own ballot, so don't let your, your child or your husband or your buddy try to get you to take their ballot. That's the only ballot you can take to the polling place. As far as taking your ballot to a drop box or the Board of Elections, every voter is allowed to carry no more than three additional ballots other than their own for a total of four. And that's where this comes in. So if this is only filled out if you are carrying somebody else's ballot. So those are the four ways to make sure this counts. Now the other question is, how do I know that you received my ballot? Well, the New, uh, the New Jersey Division of Elections has a website where you can track your ballot. And what you need to do is you need to sign up for a voter access account. And you need your voter ID, which on your label is a 10-digit number preceded by a, an alpha letter. And that is your voter ID. So it'll be an alpha letter and 10 letters. You can go on. We're going to put up the, the link on this video. You can go sign up. And it'll tell you whether your ballots have been counted you know, in the past and whether your ballot's received and whether this one gets counted. So this is the first of, of uh, several videos to come. The next video is going to be what happens to this ballot when it goes over to the Board of Elections and how it gets counted so you feel a little bit more secure about your ballot. We really want you to vote. We want you to feel secure in the process. And we hope you continue to watch these videos. Thank you.